warp and weft. Walking along the river is horizontal. Mind and spirit are vertical. At any given moment, I am where the two cross. The farm where my family lived for generations has eight water sources that flow into the Delaware River. I walk along that river day in and day out. There is no illusion of unspoiled nature. The sidewalk is perilously close to the roadway. I can feel the force of the wind from cars and trucks as they fly by. The factories on the New Jersey side of the river are both visible and audible. There will never be silence. The sound of car engines and birds cannot be separated. Walking, art making, living, I know all I do are tactics. My art makes a path among cliffs and buildings. I can't move the cliff or the building, but I can chart my own path. Bricolage. I am fascinated by the challenge of making do. It's a resistance against the holy scripture of consumer culture. Marla has given me woad, weld, and matter from her garden. I give her my eggshells, yarn that I dyed and spun, thanks to Dottie and Dee Dee the sheep. A garden is a good metaphor for my art process. It's a matter of tending. My intentions partner with chance operations. I put my colors in a book, in a box. The dye pot is one part laundry, one part cooking, and another part painting. Practice makes for beautiful imperfections. A space is set apart. Walking along the river is life, the horizontal, the lifeline. It seems circular as the seasons rotate endlessly and I walk back and forth yet it is inexorably linear. Digital distortion. We see as though through a clear plastic shower curtain. The river ends somewhere, as will I. The vertical rises from the earth. Weaving and painting are mostly on the vertical axis. They compose color but the vertical is dynamic. It doesn't work without tension between the poles. Installation is a crossing tower. I walk because I still can.